So I guess the one question I would be curious to ask you is number one, what does a film festival like this mean to you? What's, well, it what's... gives me a chance to meet other actors and see what everyone is doing because I'm interested in other people too, not just my success, but see what they're doing. And I don't, you know, jealousy is very prominent in our, among our people. And I don't know why, it doesn't have to be that way. And it makes me, that's why I say, I, I know who I am. So you can't hurt me by, by talking about me, making up something about me. An incident, when I worked with Johnny Depp, him and I shared a lot with each other. And I came home and I was, uh, a good friend of mine, I've known him all my life really, he started downing Johnny, saying different things about him and talking about him, what he had done and uh, how bad he was, you know. And I said, uh, Jake, I didn't know you knew Johnny. And he said, I don't. I said, but you're talking about him. How do you know he done all these things? You need to find out before you talk about anybody what they've done. You know, it's, it's you, you make me dislike you. And to this day, he's not my friend anymore because of that incident, because of the way that he talked about him. And Johnny, Johnny's a, a, a wonderful person. He's a, he's a, a Comanche now. He was adop adopted mm. by a lady that I know. She adopted him, so he's Comanche. And he had heritage blood, in, Cherokee blood in him from, you know, back, back in the day. So him and I are pretty good friends and kind of made me feel bad when he went through that, his divorce or getting ready to go through it. Because he's not that type of person. Now, he's not, not arrogant, not uh, standoffish. He's a good person. Right. And I enjoyed being around him. I was explaining to the interviewer before that there are three men that I really admire and would have liked to work with. And that was Anthony Hopkins, Johnny Depp, and Harrison Ford. And I got to work with every one of them already. So I was ready to retire. Right. <laughs> but I, I, still, I still work with I. I accomplished what I set out to do, and that was one day work with each one, and I did, so. Well, that speaks to your talent, doesn't it? Yeah, it uh, yeah. Makes, makes me feel good that I'm looked after by my creator, you know. Yes. I don't tell everybody that I wanted to work with these guys, but my creator knew that uh, that was my desire, and it, he let it happen. That's amazing. You know, the way that I believe today, and I'm not, I'm not what you would call a religious person, but I believe in the things that you really want. If you want it bad enough, you ask the Creator to let these things happen in your life. And a lot of things have taken place in my life that I, I enjoy. You know? I think because I know who I am, and when people talk about me, they don't know who they're talking about. Right. It's just a makeup thing, and there, and there, a lot of people have a hostile uh, environment against me. But it doesn't, it doesn't bother me right. because they don't know who I am. I don't know, I know who I am, so right. I feel good about everything that happens in my life. And in today's society, today's generation. I feel lost because I live the way that my grandpas and grandmas lived. I don't use a telephone all the time. I use my brain. I think of what I'm going to do, or I, if I try to find the knowledge that will bring close to a, a, a situation I might have. 
and a lot of people don't. All they do is press a button, they get, yeah. get an answer. Yes. And my grandpa told me, when you don't use something, you lose it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these people who use a computer, their technology is good, but it gives you the answer to everything and you don't have to use your mind. Yeah. So, Addicting. yeah. And, that, and, and that's everybody. Even my, I, I have a phone. Right. Yeah, I don't know, know how to work, work it, <laughs> but I have one, you know, so I, uh, like, like I said, I feel strange in this, this generation now that, that we're going through, right. because I, I feel, I don't feel lost, I just feel like I'm, I'm the only one that still thinks about finding the solution rather than punching right. buttons to it. Right. They don't use their mind, yeah. Yeah. and that's uh, that's in the long run they're the ones that's going to lose their minds, yeah. where they'll have to. They won't be able to depend on a computer or or mm -hmm. phones, you know. It's, yeah, we're very vulnerable. Yeah, so I I feel like that I'm still in touch with what my creator gave to me and that's knowledge about how to find a solution to a situation right. and it makes me kind of proud of myself you should be. where i'm maybe slow slower but i get to i get the same answer yeah and i feel satisfied because i know i found the answer using my mind right and that's that's, that's the way great. i feel today and a lot of people don't agree with that. Right. You don't take the time to realize that we use our minds because the Creator gave us a mind to use. Right. And if we don't use it, we're going to lose it. Yes. That's anything that you have. If you don't use it, what you have in your life is taken from you. Right. Yes, I agree. I have one more question for you. So, you said earlier about um, your friend who spoke ill of somebody, and words are very important, right? The words have power. Um, what, would, what would be the words you would use to talk to the world today about things like Standing Rock, what's going on in the world today? What would you want them to hear? I would like for people to communicate using English, using words, and I would like to see people be satisfied and not jealous of each other. Those are, jealousy is, is the strongest element in our, our lives that causes a lot of trouble. Even between nations, they're jealous of each other and they're not satisfied with what they have in life. And I would, I would advise people to find satisfaction in what you do and be proud of what you do and know what you do and share this knowledge that you have with other people. And, and you'll find that everything is good. You know, everything happens in our lifetime. When we plan something, it never works out. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. Learned that yeah. on the plane the other day. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, you plane. See, there was a reason. You may never know what it really was, but there was, there was some reason you you didn't make your plane. Yeah. And you got to remember that. Maybe, you might, uh, I'm not saying, it could have crashed. Right. You, yeah. you'll never never, know. We'll never know. Yeah. That's and that's true. why, don't plan ahead unless you know that this is going to happen, whatever you're planning. Right. Try to make it happen as close as you imagine it to be. Right. Because nothing works out. Nothing works That's out true, isn't it? the way it is planned. It's not up to us. Yeah, just like making a movie. Exactly. It never is like exactly the way that it's written down. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah.